70% of the Earth's surface is covered in water? Well, it's true. No other planet has water like this planet. Notice how much of the Earth is blue. Did you know that the ocean is the Earth's largest biome? The oceans have a unique and plentiful array of life extending from beaches, the ocean surface, underwater, and to the deep, dark sea. Have you ever wondered what it's like in some of these places? Well, let's travel through the ocean layers and see. The oceans are divided into three main layers, the euphotic zone, the dysphotic zone, and the aphotic zone. Each of these zones differ in their salinity, their temperature, light, and their plant and animal life. First, we travel down about 600 feet to the euphotic zone. This is about the length of two football fields. Light is able to penetrate through the water here making this zone lively and full of plant and animal life. Most ocean animals and all ocean plants are found in the euphotic zone. This layer is the smallest zone of the ocean, but it supports over 90% of plant and animal life. Photosynthesis is able to occur here, so many plants and phytoplankton are found in this zone. The photosynthesis that takes place in this layer accounts for a huge amount of our world's oxygen supply. So, if it weren't for all the plant life in the euphotic zone, we all would be unable to breathe. Next, we travel downward to the dysphotic zone. There is very little light that enters this area, resulting in colder waters. There is no plant life in this zone because photosynthesis cannot take place without the sun. Many of the animals in this zone are able to withstand the colder waters and feed on plant and algae crumbs falling from the euphotic layer. Notice how this fish swims through the falling crumbs eating in the dark waters. Finally, we arrive to the aphotic zone, the deepest region of the ocean. This region has very cold water, is completely dark, and is low in nutritional content. Here you can find mountains, trenches, and flat areas, just like on land. This region produces a unique array of plant and animal life that are adapted to this habitat. Scientists are constantly discovering new species in this region because it often is difficult for humans to enter. Food is very hard to find in this area and animals must be able to withstand the freezing temperatures. Many of the aphotic zone animals are bioluminescent and will glow to either attract mates or scare off their predators. Another interesting feature of the deep ocean are hydrothermal vents, which are breaks in the Earth's crust. They give off heat and chemicals, producing bacteria and food for the deep sea animals. Now that we have traveled through the ocean layers, what do you think? What an amazing and mysterious place our ocean is. Thank you.